Can you Mati? All right, you boys ready? All right, let's go. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with the dynamic duo of Stinkles and Stankles, the floofy poofs of greatness. And uh, Monty's attacking Rubes already. Needless to say, he's excited. We're gonna spend two nights out here camping in the hot tent. If you can hear me over the barkin, they're just excited. Uh, but right now, Monty, come here, 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 come here. All right. Okay. Okay, anyways, right now we're going down a two track, which has had snow mobiles go down it and pack it. So it is a dream right now to hike down. Oh my, you're so heavy, okay? I don't want to hear you anymore. You're fine. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, we're going to cook up some delicious campfire food and uh, have a good time. Right now we're going to... They need to burn some energy. Uh, we're going to go about a half mile down this road or more. Then we're going to turn off onto like another one, which I don't know if snowbills went down it or not. And then we're going to wander off into the woods. So about another mile, mile and a half, somewhere in there, we got to go. So we've got to get moving because we got a little bit of a late start. So anywho, let's do it. Come on, boys. Let's go. Leave that thing. Or, or bring it away. Whatever. Let's go. Come on. Snowbillers went on this road as well. That's awesome because this sled is heavy. It's got it's got to be over a hundred pounds easy. So any any of this I can get makes the workload easier. Makes me and it means I can go further. So awesome. Let's go, boys. Even though 
it's packed and it's slippery, these hills are still work. And you got these 100 pound plus sleds. Oh, yeah. Still a lot of fun taking them uphill. Look at this. Look at how small this hill is. That little hill right there. Just that little bump. Every single one of those that I encounter is just like, whoo. And when, uh, when I find one, we gotta go through the powder here and just break trail, which we're gonna do soon. Uh, it's, it's like 10 times more work. Okay, so this sled, I've never taken it out with the hot tent and all the stuff for the boys. The first time taking it out with just me uh, with all the gear for a hot tent. And there's just not quite enough room uh, to have everything that's weighted piled on the bottom. I did my best, but I had to put some heavy stuff at the top here. I was kind of just leaning a little bit. I did my best, but it's definitely making it harder going through here. But, we've hiked in plenty far enough. It's time to find a spot. Because we've got about two hours till the sun sets and we've got lots to do. <laughs> so we're gonna walk around, look for a good spot. I've seen a few dead trees here and there. There's one over there. Uh, there's lots of pine, not much hardwood, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Anyways, we're gonna find a nice flat spot and then we'll drag our stuff over there and get setting up. Come on boys, let's try a spot. Come on T, come on. Come on Monty. Come on Porky Piggy. To be our spot. Uh, as you can see, we're right under some big old pine trees, and uh, that provides an extra bonus for us because the snow is about two to three feet deep everywhere else. But right here, we got a flat spot in the snow. It's only about a foot deep. So it's like a third of the f amount of snow is the rest of the forest because these branches block it and whatnot. So it's gonna be easier to shovel out. The only thing I'm concerned about is this big old dead tree right here, which shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna hit this with my axe a couple times and see if it's sturdy. Um, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's like, it's standing and it's broken, it's hung up in a tree up there. So I don't think even worst case scenario, if it did get loose somehow, then it would just slide straight back. But we just wanna make sure it's sturdy. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now, if it was windier, I'd even be even more concerned, but right now, yeah, see, once this thing starts to topple over, 
it's 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 uh it's going that way. Look at these stinky dogs. All right, boys, go over here. Come over here. See if this goes bad. I can replace gear, but I can't replace you. Okay, stay there. Oh yeah, that's solid. All right, we'll be fine. It's not punky. It just cracked over. All right, now we're gonna do some shoveling. Ruger's favorite part. So normally, I just tamp down the snow, but since it's shallow here, we are going to shovel it down. We'll have a nice solid ground. The only problem with shoveling is you always discover unwanted goodies. So that's about... We're gonna take off the snowshoes for now. So you got your two distinguished characters. You got this guy chasing and biting the snow, and this guy just lays down. Oh, Monty, here. I know what you would prefer. Come here. Up, up, right, back up. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I right, just get, this is your spot. Hold on, go, 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 go. All right, let me just. All right, Monty, right here. There you go. There you go. Another nice thing is I don't really have to shovel this out crazy amount. I'm just looking for any big logs or anything, seeing how flat it is. And uh, this will melt down to the ground. I just got to basically dig out a good portion of it or anything crusty so that when I put the stakes in, It'll be right on the ground, and when I put uh, the stove, it'll be on the ground. And then over tonight, everything's going to clear in there, and then we'll have nice ground. Another thing about the ground that's real nice is when you start to make it warm, it'll start to reanimate all the spiders, and then they'll crawl on your face in the night. It's awesome. Here. Okay, we're pretty much on the ground most places. Let's set this bad boy up. No stick troops. I feel like once I start throwing the stick, it's over. It has begun. Now I'm a slave to the stick the rest of the trip. All right, what we're gonna do first Let's see. Um, we're gonna pound out the, the tent here. Actually, first, we're gonna gather some sticks. We need, we need about, oh, I don't know, eight. Eight nice sticks like this, about half dollar thickness or bigger. Probably more like three inches in diameter. 
Yeah, okay. That's what we need. So I realize we're only gonna need three here. Three of these stakes because I got these trees right next to me. I can just tie it to those. And those will actually make it much more open than uh, these stakes will and do a lot better job. So we're just gonna use these. See, this is a piece of maple, a nice maple branch. We just need to find more like this. Okay, let's just set that over there. All right, now what I gotta do is I'm gonna take my ax and I'm going to make a point on one end and around out the other end. So we're just gonna take it. The ground's pretty frozen, so. And the other end, we're just gonna do a slight rounding. All right, and we just do that to all three, and uh, we're good. All right, I brought some stakes for the bottom. Stakes. Uh, I figured I'd be going to the ground. We'll see how well they go in. They should go in decently. I think I've pounded these stakes. into the frozen ground before. So let's see. We do, let's do this corner first. Couldn't have been. Now I'm not gonna pound them insanely hard, like all the way packed into the ground, because then they will be very hard to get back out. So I'm just going to the ground and leaving about an inch or so of leeway. This tent's always so much bigger than I remember once you start setting it up. Oh, another thing, Rugs can't steal these stakes. I've learned my lesson with Mr. Rugus Tugus Butt the Dugus here. He is a grade A, supreme, sneaky deaky, stick, stake, thief. You know, it, Ruger, that's my firewood. Hey, hey, do I want to bring him out, Winter Camp? I think on uh, Tuesday, sent him out Tuesday. Let's just raise it up a little higher. Oh yeah, fire roast. We lost a one pepper of each kind and one onion. Done it this low. And this doesn't give that much, but 71, 72? Probably after last trip, 73. <laughs> and I will not have it. I will not have it, Rugus. Stop eating sticks, Rugus. Okay, now we're gonna put up our center pole. Monty, you working hard or are you hardly working? It's okay. Don't worry, Monty. I'll take care of everything. You just, you just stay precious, okay? You just stay precious over there. You're doing a great job at it, Monty. You're doing a good job at your most important job.
hot tent's coming along. Oh, look at that. There you go, Monty. Your palace is becoming closer to complete. This is Monty's palace. Don't let him fool you. Why are you getting all covered in snow? Why are you doing that, huh? Okay, one side up. So, I'm gonna tie, let's see, five of these to the trees, and then we'll pound our stakes. Well, I might as well show you guys what not I'm tying, so you can do it yourself at some point. Unfortunately, this corner has, is, 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 is black and green rope, so it's gonna be hard to see. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna show you real quick. Here's the tree I'm tying to. I'm gonna take the, the end of the rope, we're gonna go around the tree. And then we're gonna pull it back to where we wanna tie the knot. That's, that's step one. Just whatever you wanna secure to, go around the tree. We're gonna go a little higher, but still around the tree. Then we're gonna go back over here. All right, so, here, our rope's around the tree. We've got it, we're pulling it tight. Here's our end of our rope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over the top or over the bottom, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way, top or bottom. We're gonna adjust this a little bit. As long as you keep it the same way throughout. So we're gonna cross it here one time and then you wanna go on the outside of this. This is gonna be our loop. So we wanna go on the outside, we're gonna wrap it the same way twice. You go outside twice and then we're gonna kinda cinch it up, okay. Now that it's kind of cinched up and you just, I like to keep it pretty, we're gonna go one, we did two on the outside, now we're gonna come on the inside and do one. So we're gonna bring the rope, we're gonna go under that rope there, and then we're gonna come right back through the loop we just made, and we're gonna make a little pinch, and we're gonna tighten that up, and that right there is the taut line hitch. Uh, you go out twice, in once, and then you can adjust this rope. So what I'll do is I'm tightening it. You just kind of pull on the, the rope the knot's on and see I can tighten it or I can slide it, loosen the whole thing. And if I want to undo the knot, I just pull like that and the whole knot comes undone. So that's called the tie line hitch. It's my favorite knot for securing tarps. We're just gonna do it again real quick without explaining it. Go in. Get it all pretty, then come back, tie it off, there you go, and then just tighten it, and then if it, because this is not the most secure knot, if it loosens up, you just kind of come out here and you pull and you tighten her up, and that's all there is to it. It's a great knot. If you want something a little more secure that won't loosen up over time with super high winds, you got to use like a trucker's hitch. We'll show that another day because I'm not using it today. We're gonna just keep tying to as many trees as we can because uh, it's just a little more secure and it makes it a little more, we can pull out the tent a little better than with the stakes in this frozen ground because they're not the best stakes in the world. They'll do. But if I can tie the trees, I'll always do that over uh, doing stakes. Just gotta make sure to tie them high enough so Ruger, Mr. Stick Eater, stop it! Hey, doesn't run into him. Go real high. There. Guess we could have went to that tree. Oh, uh, let's see if we can. Is it possible? Ooh, that one's better. Uh, oh! Let's just... I could make another really long rope to tie this corner, 
but I'm not going to do that simply because it's going to make it very annoying to walk around the tent if I have these super long ropes tied uh, in the front. So we're going to use the stake. pretty much frozen solid and the stick this big ain't gonna work my stakes going fine because there's you know skinny metal spikes but this thing even if it has a bigger point it's gonna be tough to drive into the ground it's kind of big so we're just gonna tie the trees and we will deal with the consequences Rugus if you keep eating sticks you're gonna deal with the consequences coming out of your butt stop it come here come here you little frisky critter Stop eating the sticks. Just stop it. All right, we need to go. Rugus, I said stop it. Now we just get to deal with this. Dodging it, walking under it, looking at it. Ruger eating another stick. Please, Rugus, stop with the sticks. I know you're not gonna, but I mean, it would be great if you would. I mean, I don't mind. It's just when I see a poop out wood chips, that's when it bugs me, you know? I'm just like, well, I can't be good. And then you just, you know, if you just chewed them up, it'd be fine. But you're eating them. Why are you eating them? Huh? Well, monster. Monty, you're doing good. You're just being great. You're just chilling. Like you always do, a master of the relaxer. Master relaxer. <sighs> All right, now I'm just gonna quickly tie out the ends, and then we need to gather some firewood and put the stove together. But we should be sitting pretty. We got a nice shelter. Okie dokes. Look at you little perfect angels. Being so good, Ruger. I'm so proud of you in this moment. My heart is very full at this moment. All right. We are taught, except for this. I am going to have to, we're gonna make a snow anchor for this one. Now when I did that, uh, when we camped on the lake, there was not a lot of snow, and sometimes it can be tough to do, but snow anchor, you just take a stick like yay big, put it through your loop, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, see that's gonna be, it's gonna make it loose. We have to go out a little bit further. I'm gonna go to this loop. I don't even know if I'm gonna be in front. No, I'm not gonna be in front of my Let's just see. Does that work better? Yeah, it works much better. Oh, but the Rugers is going to trip it. Do we have a slightly saggy tent in the front where no one's sitting? Yes, we're doing that because the Rugs, you got to you gotta account for your Rugs. He's going to run into things because he goes crazy. So you just take like that, you put your stick through the loop, you pull it taut, and then you just pile a bunch of snow on it. Well, the trick is to put enough snow. Now, this snow is not very packy. If you have packy snow, it makes it that much better but we're going to use what we got this might not work so well if it's packy snow you can kind of just pull it and stick it deep in the snow and it'll hold since i dug most of this out we might need to sit here for a minute to get this snow to pack because look at how just fluffy and icy this snow is right now 
this is probably not going to hold very well. So anyways, if you got deep snow, you just pull it out and you stick it deep in the snow and the, the stick will hold it. But since I dug it all out, this is not going to work out. If I stand here for long enough, it'll eventually work out. Oh, see? Hey, it did hold. Now I'm just going to put a bunch more snow on it. I did not think that was going to hold like that. Now, if I'm reaming on the tent right now, it's going to pop right out. See, there it came loose. Dang it. What am I going to do, Rooks? What I could do is just put a little water on it and freeze it to the ground. Since I'm out of snow and the ground's too frozen. Well, this is not going to matter right now. This is not giving us much right here. We need to set up a stove and get a fire going. Oh. Okay. Whew. So, we are trying out a new stove today. This is sent to me by a subscriber. I've got two stoves I'm going to try out. i got two new stoves I'm going to try out this winter. Since it's going to be pretty cold, we're getting down to the negative Fahrenheit tonight. Um, I put, I brought out the one that's uh, suited for colder temps. This one's made out of titanium, so it's real light. This is like the Kevlar canoe of uh, wood camping stoves. But if it's too warm out, like it's you're in the teens at night, this might be overwhelming. I've never used it before. We're just gonna see how this thing does. It's a little unfortunate that I don't see any. Uh, pine or anything. Oh yeah, look at that thing. That You can fit a lot of wood in here, oh boy. If I load this thing up, we'll melt. Monty's coming in. All right, we're gonna set this thing up and get a fire going here. There we go. So this stove pipe is a little different than my other one. This one, my other one goes from big to small. This one goes from small to big. So that's interesting. We'll see what it does. Uh, yeah. Let's spark up a fire. We're just gonna use this little, we got little bits of wood from our stakes that we didn't use and sticks that Ruger's brought us. And we'll just get a fire going so that Mr. Monty can have himself a palace to uh, at least, you know, once it starts to get warm, he's gonna wanna snuggle up in here. It's, it's cold outside, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's, it's uh, it's gotta be around one or two Fahrenheit. It's gotta be, it's gonna be getting into single, like zero negatives soon here. I got a temperature reader, but hey, there he goes. Okay, I'm gonna gather up a little bits of sticks and let's spark up a fire. Let's see this baby in action. I brought out another new fire steel. This was sent to me by a subscriber. It's got a nice wooden handle, little dog paw. Watch out, Rooks. Go inside. Go inside. Go on, watch out. A little dog paw in there. Looks nice. I usually only use one at a time, so I've been just, you know, slowly, slowly using my other one, but the other one's still got light. Alright, this should be enough. Birch bark, pocket birch bark. Scrubbler up there. Let's try this. Fire
There's a lot more room in this thing. It's not drawn perfectly, it's smoking this place out. I'll have to give that a minute. There's a spark arrestor in the tube, I might take it out. We'll just see, we'll give it a minute. And then we'll close the door and see if that does anything, which I should. Let the hot tenting commence. Hi, Rubes. Let's shut this thing and see if that does anything for us. Oh yeah, it's definitely smoky in here. I guess I really didn't want to do this in front of you because I know about you and I know who you are deep inside. And then we're gonna give Monty a warm spot. He wants Monty wants access to the hot tent. Watch out, back up, Rubes. Frozen. Well. Oh. Oh, we got it in. All right. We just got to tighten this up. We got it in though. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got it in because that one's skinny. I don't think longer stakes would work the best right now on that. Normally got snow. All right, let's quickly clear out the tent. Give Monty a spot of warmth because he just, he's been, cre he knows the warmth is here. And now he's like, I just want to go in there and snuggle up. And just, you know, pull up. Okay, Monty, you have earned this for all your hard work you did today. Sugar, I know you have no chance of going in there. Okay, Monty, Oh, Monty, wait, 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 wait. hey, simmer down, hey, Monty, back up, I gotta set it up, buddy, you little turd, all right, Monty, there you go, right here, all right, you critter, all right, Monty's got a spot, Ruger will follow me anywhere, now it's time to get a couple pieces of firewood. I think we're burning pine tonight. Cause I see some pine over there. Let's go uh, take her down, bring her back to camp. And if we see any maple on the way, so be it. But other than that, yeah, all we've got to do is get some firewood for the night and we'll get the rest tomorrow. And then we just get to sit inside and relax and set stuff up. All right, firewood time. Monty, you uh, care if we go get some firewood? He's like, honestly, I don't really care what you do. You can go home and leave me here, I'll be fine. Now I've got this nice comfy space. But when you get a chance, could you blow me up a sleeping pad, please? I just need a little bit more comfort. All right. We've got three dead pines right here. Two super dead pines. Let's just see if... Yeah, so pine is fine. The only problem with it is it doesn't last as long, the cold. Oh. 
Well, there's one. This one's gonna need this one's gonna need a little persuasion to get down here. We're gonna persuade a little bit. Can we start. It's really got no big branches on it. That should do it. Should just fall over now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go grab the saw. We need to chop this up into a few pieces here to bring it back to camp. Okay, I've got everything I need here at camp. We've got a fire going, we are set up. It's tight, nice and tight. I always like when it's nice and tight, the, the tent when it's all, yeah, so we get extra room in there. Because if it's loose, then it's just all saggy and you know, like the walls kind of just push it on you. They just have less room overall. But when it's tight, Anyways, I don't need all this for tonight because it is pretty nice solid uh, pine here. So I'm gonna start breaking off the pokies with my ax. I'm gonna need to make a pile of kindling inside because if I leave all these sticks around, Ruger's gonna eat probably all of these sticks. And I don't know if you can see or how many are here. If Ruger consumes all these, that'd be bad. Rugus, please. I'm talking about you right now. But yeah, we're gonna just gather up firewood let the night settle in. The night, the sun has set and it is getting dark. But we don't gotta travel around anymore and we're just gonna tidy up everything. First things first, we gotta give Monty a sleeping pad and just get it, get it cozy in there. Oh, so good. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, ah. oh, 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 Rugus, 
please. Not now. I just need a minute. Oh man, I just hit that stick and it didn't break. It just bounced and snapped into my face. And now I'm getting an arm cramp. Didn't drink enough water. Oh, oh it's all falling apart. Oh, oh I wonder if that's going to leave a mark. We'll have to check later. Oh, jeez. Ruger didn't even go for it. He just has a stick in his mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Get back, get back, get back. Muddy, just one sec, one sec, one sec. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm gonna make it extra. Wait, 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 stay there, stay there. Monty, come on. Here you go, Rubes. I will set you up one when you need it. You want one, Rubes? Oh, you guys. Is our fire going out? Oh, it's still coals in there. All right, we need a little fire in there, huh, Rubes? Huh? Hi. All right, I'll get you set up too, okay? So, Rugs finally admitted defeat. He admitted he was cold. Um, and he went and went in there, and I was just doing stuff out here, cleaning up some wood, and all of a sudden I look back and Monty is just standing silently behind me for who knows how long, because he's just a creature that doesn't bark and stuff. And, uh, well I guess he does bark, but anyways, I go, I look in there and Rugs is just sprawled out in the center and he kicked Monty off the sleeping pads and I, oh, there's this one. Now they're both up. They were just being, they were sleeping in there. It's been like an hour and a half to two hours. I've just been like moseying around, taking my time. Set up this pile of firewood. I don't think it's been, maybe it's not been two hours, but yeah, they were being the goose boys, but we were kicked Monty off. We've got a nice fire going. I'm gonna finish cutting this wood up here and then we'll stack it inside and then we are zipping ourselves in for the evening. Monty, <laughs> Monty's just like, yeah. I don't see any point of going out there. It's kind of cold, so I'm just gonna. You can hear him crunching around. Rugs? Hey, you don't got your jablutis on anymore. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, what are you doing? Come here, Rugs. Oh, Rugs is just a little dainty feather. He's just a little dainty guy. Aren't you precious? Aren't you precious? Look at you, Rugs. Look at you, puppy, puppy, puppy. Hi, Monty. Hi. You can come out here. It's not as warm as it is in there. Come on. Ooh. Hi, Monty. Hi. All 
All right, boys, I'm just gonna finish cutting up firewood and then we're all going in there, okay? So if you got any bathrooms, you gotta make potty, you need to chew a few sticks, rogues, anything you got to do, take care of it. And then we're going inside for the night, okay? We're gonna have treats, we're gonna have fun, um, it's gonna be a great time, and no more pep talk. Let's uh, reconvene. <laughs> in here now boys oh jeez oh, it's time to strip that oh. oh can you see me you can see me enough oh yeah we're just dealing with that here oh yeah We are officially hot tenting and man, it's cold outside. It's it's like zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, something Celsius, negative 15, negative 20. I don't, I don't really know. To be honest, it's negative 15 probably, or negative 10. Somewhere around there, Celsius is just weird. Anyways. Uh, it's toasty in here. Uh, I don't even have that much wood. It's not really ripping. So I definitely can see oh, how this thing keeps it warm. And the funny thing is, is those logs, I don't have to split any of that. It's uh, It's got a big opening and I can just shovel those logs and there's plenty of space. So I don't have to worry about any of that. So. We are officially hot tenting except for one thing, and it's probably the most important thing you ever have to do when you're hot tenting. And if you don't do this step, you actually, you're not gonna have a good time hot tenting. And that step is slip on your hot tent Crocs. I feel like Cinderella, just put on my magical slippers. Oh, am I even wearing anything? I can't see, I can't see anything. Whoa, camouflaged. Oh, the boys, and we are officially hot tenting. <sighs> Took me a little longer to get all that wood taken care of. I was kind of taking my time, relaxing, but uh, that's neither here nor there because we're here, not there. <sighs> Even Rugs is sleepy. Whew. We earned a little relaxation time. Huh, boys? Huh? Huh? You know what thing I think it's time for? You know what I think it's time for? I think it's time for some treats. Do you want some treats? You guys want some treats? Do you want a treat? All right, treats. Stay there, stay there. everyone. Simmer down, everyone. Just whoa, 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 whoa. We well. We've got some little smokies or whatever they're called, little smoked sausages. Mm -hmm. I think I'm ready for a sausage stick, boys. How do you, how do you get out there? Wet and tarnation. I'm just gonna, gonna have to just go ahead and rip her open. Mm-hmm. All right, the boys get one first. Let's, should we gotta even that out? There you go, mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Good boys. Mmm. Mm hmm. 
Nothing like snacks. Snacks. Ruger's much more gentle than Monty when it comes to taking a treat. One more. And then we gotta save them for tomorrow. Okay? No. Matthew treat time. <sighs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so um, about the stove here, I'll have to show you guys tomorrow, but the stove pipes, I had it all messed up. Um, I thought that for, it, it, looking back at how I did it originally was just, it, it was meant to fail. <laughs> After I redid it, um, I put it in the proper way, and yeah, it's super long. <laughs> it's a super long stove pipe, but that's good, I mean, that'll keep stuff away, but I'll show you guys tomorrow anyways, I did it wrong initially, and, uh, this thing, it gets super hot in here, but now it's getting chilly because I'm just, I, it's the first time using it. I haven't figured out how to keep it like a nice, slow going. Right now it's just like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. It'll take me just these two days here to really figure it out because like I said, it's my first time using it. But anyways, um, right now is about zone out time. I'm going to just relax, kind of just get settled in. Maybe mess with some gears flopping around. We're just going to chill out for a good hour here. We're not even going to think about dinner. Even though I am hungry, I'm just going to sip on my beer and uh, relax. Just kind of, you know, a lot of work getting here, cutting up wood and stuff. So it's time to just hang out for a minute and uh, warm up, relax. So I'll check back with you guys when we start thinking about dinner, all right? Okay, good. Neato. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, how's my hair? Is it beautiful? Look at this stinky doggy. Oh, yeah, you're stinky. You having a good nap, Monty? Rogues, you having a good nap? I can't. Rogues will be snuggling up next to me tonight because he likes to. He likes to sleep right next to me. Anyways, it is time to make some food. So, the boys here are gonna have Mr. Monty's mangled mush, the famous meal that's loved among all dogs. You just venison and sweet potato mushed into mashness and delicious. But what we're having tonight is a spaghetti carbonara for the first time ever. I've never cooked it before. Someone asked me to cook it a long time ago and I've been meaning to. It's just, it intimidates me. It's scary because if the eggs cook, then it turns into scrambled eggs and noodles, and it's not carbonara. So it'll be a little tricky, because I gotta make sure, we'll, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. We don't got much to prepare, but it should be rather delicious. So, let's prepare some stuff and cook some spaghetti carbonara. What do you say, boys? Okay. So the first thing we're gonna prepare is bacon. Bacon. So I was gonna do it with pancetta, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> they just didn't sell it. So we're just going with bacon, which will be just fine. We're gonna cut that into some chunks here. Lots of healthy, delicious bacon. Now, we're gonna see how much grease comes out of this. If it's too much, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of a little. But if it's if it's just enough, we're gonna leave it in there. And we'll cook most things in this. So we're gonna add this to a pan, and then we'll get that cooking in a minute. Okay, and we've got some garlic, which I peeled a moment ago. We're just gonna slice this in a nice little thin pieces here. Oops! Oh! 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 
And then we've got some parsley, which I'll just You know, there's two types of parsley. There's Italian parsley and curly parsley. And I know I should probably have used Italian parsley for this one, but I've always just used curly parsley. And um, that's just what we're gonna use yet again today. I mean, definitely should have probably used Italian. I'll admit it now. And if I could go back, I'd get Italian. Now for the boys. Of course, their sweet potato. Okay, now we're just going to add stuff to pots and things, and let's get to cooking. We've got a big old pot of water here. This is for our noodles. You can see there's pine needles because I melted some snow. We've got, you know, sticks, all sorts of goodies in there. Because, you know, with carbonara, for as many times as I've made it, we just never... You know, you want to have some pine needles and some goodies in there, some schmutz. Let's get our bacon going first. Oh, the boys got some nice schmutz in theirs. Let's add in their sweet potato. So I did bring out my jet boil, and what I'm going to do is while we're cooking up this bacon, is I'm going to get this water for boiling my noodles heated up on the jet boil. So for now, we will just, we're gonna cook up this bacon a little bit. We're gonna see how much uh, fat is in there. If it's if it's a ton, we're gonna have to get rid of some. If it's just enough, we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients and just kinda cook it up in a bit. Oh, bacon. So, one problem with cooking bacon over a hot stove, see all that, all that, that's all bacon grease that's splattering. Not the most ideal thing, but it could be worse. All right, our bacon is cooking. It's not a terrible amount of grease. Um, since it's my first time making carbonara, we're gonna go ahead and leave that bacon grease in there, and we're just gonna see what happens. You know, we're gonna add in the garlic. Okay, and then we're also gonna add in some lemon zest. I, I, uh, lemon zest is very simple to make. You just take a lemon, you take a cheese grater, and you just shave off the outer peel of the lemon. As soon as you see white, you stop and you move on to the next little spot. We're going to try it out. I'm just going to fry that up a little bit in this grease here. Now the whole time we're doing this, I've got my eggs over here. I've been trying to get them warmed up because I feel like if they're cold, they're going to just not work out right. We're gonna try to get them warmed up without cooking. All right, water is boiling. Time to add some spaghetti noodles. How much is, that seems about good. Now we're gonna get these cooking because we're gonna need some of this water here in a minute. It's important, very important. We're gonna add in a nice French baguette. Get that toasting up because of course with their pasta we're gonna have some deliciousness. Okay, the boys, they need their venison. Just add that in there. Ah, oh, getting close. We're getting close. We're gonna add in our parsley. Okay, the noodles are getting close. We're gonna add in some pasta water now. <sighs> Might have been a little much, that's okay. Tasty. You know, I could eat just that, just the bacon, parsley, garlic, and a little water in there. A little bit more. A little bit more in there. Things are getting serious now. So what we've got here, this egg mixture, this is 
two whole eggs plus two just egg yolks. So, that means four yolks and two whites worth of eggs. What we're gonna do, we've got some Parmesan cheese. We're adding to that, to the egg mixture. We'll get a little bit more, and then here. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna put this back on here. Just get that all mangled. All right, let's just check these noodles. <coughs> That's steamy. <coughs> oh God, I'm falling apart. All right, the noodles are done. Okay, okay. We're gonna drain these, mostly drain. Okay, it's time to put this together and make this make this work how it's supposed to work. We're adding in all our noodles. Oh, might have been a little bit too much noodles. <laughs> We're burning some. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 I just burned some skin off my finger. Oh, oh, oh. Don't ever put your raw skin to a hot stove. Okay, we're just gonna mix this in. Okay, really quickly, we've gotta add a couple more things. A couple more things. Everyone simmer down, everyone simmer down, including myself. We're gonna add some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. Fresh ground cracked black pepper with a little grinder here, oh yeah. That's what we're gonna add. first on the channel. Let's keep this going. Let's just stir this all in. Get it all mixed. This is where we either fail or succeed. Let's just see what happens. We're gonna close off the heat. We don't want too much heat. Let's add in the egg mixture. Now if it turns to scrambled eggs, then we have messed up. But if it turns into a creamy, delicious sauce, we have succeeded. Let's see. Oh, it's it's kind of oh, it's turned into a creamy sauce. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I think we're doing it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we can't just, we can't let the heat get too much. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good right now. Oh my gosh. I think we did it. We're just gonna cook this up for another minute more to make sure these eggs are cooked just enough. We gotta keep this going. But if the heat gets too hot, this will all turn to just like scrambled eggs. Oh my gosh. I think I just made a campfire carbonara and I was so worried about it. We're gonna finalize this thing. Let's get back with some fresh ground pepper. A little bit more. And then of course, more Parmesan cheese. A nice crispy, ooh, just got slightly burnt French baguette. And of course, the fork of approval. <laughs> Let's eat, oh yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, boys. You've been the goodest boys ever. Now, I'm going to set this delicious meal on my lap. This. 
I'm going to finish brewski number two ski. And let's taste our first ever carbonara. I've never eaten or cooked a carbonara before. It looks creamy and delicious. I'm kind of excited to try this. This is I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like <clears throat> it's like It's like a light Alfredo-ish, if I could describe it. It's like a creamy, it's like, it's less cheesy and like, it's kind of like an Alfredo-ish sort of-esque to it with a little hint of a bacon. Mm. Yeah, the closest thing I can compare it to is like an Alfredo, but like, it's not an Alfredo. I'm just trying to help you guys out, you know? Mm. Mm. That went really well. It was super easy to make. Oh, excuse you, Rugs or Monty, whoever did that. It's looking like I'm going to eat a significant portion of this. For as I'm, I'm very hungry, and I'm, I'm not slowing down. Um. How am I going to eat all this? I might struggle to get through the whole piece of bread, but this? Well, we'll see. Anyway, I'll check back in when I'm done eating. There's no need for you to see me just stuff in my face anymore. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. No, 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 Oh, I'm feeling fat and sassy. Um, I feel so fat and sassy that I just want to...
is toasty in here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use any of my sleep stuff for a bit. Oh, um, so basically what I've learned is that I don't know anything. Let's just leave it at that. We can talk about stuff tomorrow. Because I'm real tired. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <sighs>
that's pretty good but you know what would make that just a little bit better just a nice little teensy tunchy splash of Bailey's just a little splash just a teeny little splash oh. there we go all right all right. <laughs> now that looks delicious. <laughs> Wake me up and put me back to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to you hungry? You want some food? You want breakfast? You hungry? You want some food? You want breakfast? Hmm. Go ahead, boys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's surprising. See, at home, um, Monty's always going to get his treats, and I haven't given them to him yet. He's got his little supplements, but uh, he will not usually eat until he gets those supplements. It never has a problem. I was just curious to see if Monty would do his normal thing, because he'll... I'll put his food in. He always... Monty is like an alarm clock. That's another thing. He, at 7 p.m., we always feed him at 8 p.m. That's his dinner time. 8 p.m. is dinner for Monty. And at 7 p.m., he just gets up in your face and just stands in doorways and stares at you. And he will not stop staring at you standing there until you feed him. It's, it's awesome. It's just the cutest thing ever. And uh, sometimes, like... You know, if we ever forget, he will never not let you know. He'll just come follow you around the house and just stare at you. And then you're like, oh, it's dinner time, isn't it, Monty? And then, yeah, he always just lets you know. Monty, these these are what you're looking for. There's your, there you go. There you go, Rooks. There you go, supplements. Okay. Yeah, so, another thing is, I'm going to be cooking myself a delicious breakfast here soon. And there's a reason I'm not making the boys anything special for breakfast. And that's because they're going to be eating a couple things today. And I don't want to give them poopy poopy butt messes. So, yeah. I'm just cleaning out my pan here. And then uh, we're going to cook ourselves a delicious breakfast burrito. Well, if you listen closely, you can hear snowmobiles off in the distance. Oh yeah, that's some, that's some coffee right there. All right, boys. Okay, I'm just gonna sip my coffee for, for a minute here, clean my pan, and then we're gonna start cooking breakfast. It's not gonna really take long to, to cook. We just got to fry some stuff up, cut some stuff up, and bing, bang, boom, eating food. Hope my balls isn't sticking out. I just peeked my head out here, and these little critters are just, like, dragging around sticks and just... They're, they're trying to get me to come outside. <laughs> They're ready to play and have the day start. They don't want to sit in the tent anymore, and it's just cozy in here. <laughs> Hi, Monty. Do you want me to come outside? Do you want me to come play stick and stuff? All right, I'm going to make breakfast, and then we'll we'll have our day. We got stuff to do today, okay? Okay, let's start by cutting up some garlic. Oh, we got to get rid of that Monty hair or Ruger hair, whichever it is. It's everywhere. I'm just gonna, we're going to try to go... You know, reasonable on the size of this one. But as far as breakfast go, I am not a, I can't do a dry breakfast. It has to be wet and sloppy in some sense of the word. I just can't do it when it's just like super dry. Like if you get pancakes and they're not, you know, syrupy or buttery enough. I don't know. I'm weird with breakfast. I've always had a strange relationship. So sometimes I'm all about it, other times I'm like, eh. But anyways, a breakfast burrito, it's hard to go wrong for me. That's one that I tend to uh, be able to eat 
each and every time. Or biscuits and gravy. That's That's got to be one of my favorite breakfasts. But we can't start talking about that or else I'll like some like regret my uh, dish decisions. We're gonna just, this bacon frozen solids. So we're just gonna take like a nice chunk of it. That'll be good. We're just gonna start sizzling that in a pan. And we've got some white onion. Got some red poopa. You always gotta, you know, when you're when you're cutting up red pepper, there's a very important step um, that you gotta do. I will show you in one second. Just gotta cut it up a little bit more. And you gotta, you just gotta taste a chunk to make sure it's still delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I could just eat. A red pepper like that, like an apple. Red bell pepper. Mm. Now we just need to get this on there, but my olive oil is frozen, so I'm just quickly warming up just enough to get it in, and we can start cooking that up. It's a little olive oil, olive olive, whatever olive oil. I try to make it sound cool, but it's, I just I don't even know what happened. You can check on my little burn from last night. Yeah, I just, I must have, I think the side of this, the like edge there, I just went I was like, oh, I didn't even really notice it was burned till later. Ah, put that over there. All right, now we get to cooking. Yeah, the bacon. There'd be no no way I'd be able to cook without sous chef long nose and sous chef crazy eyes. Right? Right? Monty, it's the same color as your eyes. Completely black. Is there even life in there? Is there a soul inside there? I just can't tell. Ruger, I mean, there's... I mean, there's a lot going on in those eyes. I mean, look at them. Look at those colors. Half blue, half brown. What is going on in there? What thoughts are being processed? This one, you just, you can kind of guess with Ruger, but Monty, you can, they're so small, you can't even, yeah. We'll just try to guess, Monty. We'll just keep guessing. All right. Now to our peppers and onions and garlic, we are going to add some jalapenos that are frozen. Because everyone knows how well I can handle spice, so let's add some jalapenos. A little butter. A little bit. Just a little bit of butter for flavor. A couple of uh, scrambled eggs. Right on in there. Yeah. And then we are also going to add our bacon. Well, snowmobiles are going crazy today. There we go. Alright, now we just gotta cook this up right here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. A little bit of salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Actually, a little bit less than normal because we've got the bacon in there with a little bit of bacon grease. And then, of course, some black pepper. It's almost go time. All right, our tortilla is warmed up. Enough. What we're gonna do is we are going to add on some cheese just a little bit nice little blanket of cheese there 
And we're going to try to fit all this in there. Oh, jeez. Might be a little bit much stuff. We're going to do our best. Okay, one last step. A little bit of that. Gently slide that in there. Let that cook for just a minute to get that cheese extra melty. Oh yeah, just for a minute. You know, you just, you just wanna give it a minute and then we're gonna eat it right out of that pan. Actually, you know what, because we can, let's just take a little bit of our cheddar cheese and just put it almost like an enchilada or something, you know? It is time to eat breakfast at one because it's so dang fun. <laughs> All right, this is gonna look a little, ooh, dang. <laughs> My sour cream and salsa is frozen. Well, I didn't think about that. So what we're gonna do is put this off to the side in the hot pan here. And the, the sour cream and salsa is gonna thaw. And don't worry, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> I forgot to thaw this until this moment. Dang it. Oh, it's still hot. Mm. I need something, boys. Here, jacket. Okay, let's just slop that sour cream and salsa mixture all over that there burrito. Mm hmm. This thing is going to be a messy and delicious all at the same time. All right, let's just let's just dive on in here. Oh, it's ooey gooey. That's what I'm talking about. Oops, oh, it's falling apart. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. That's good right there. You know what make it even better? Orange juice. Some of you may be disappointed to know. Some of you may appreciate. But I like pulp-free orange juice. Don't don't judge me. Mmm. It's icy. It's a slushy. Mm. Oh, it's really icy. When I when I when I'm eating my food, I love chunks. Big chunks, lots of chunks. When I'm drinking a drink, I don't like chunks. So that's all it is for me. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast burrito here. I mean, we're going to get outside, we've got to walk around with the boys, we've got to, you know, check out our surrounding area, we got to find some firewood, bring firewood back, we've got to have some fun games because it's a special day for these two, um, and then we've also got to, did I say firewood? Oh, we've got a special game, walk around, tidy up the outside, there's probably other stuff, but mostly firewood. Give the boys some fun things to do today. That's numero uno. So, I'm going to finish up here, and then we're going to put on their bluties, jablooty boys, and we're going to get outside and start our day. Even though it's, we've been in here for a while. <laughs> well, I have. All right. Check back in with you guys in a bit. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Papa. 
know. It's just a, it's a world out here. Well, okay. Hey. Look at how big that stove pipe is. It's got the spark roaster up top. It's tall. It's like 12 feet tall or more. It's, it's ridiculous. Alright. You know what these guys need? They need a couple of sticks. I cut them sticks last night. I just didn't make them perfect. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Excuse me, boys. Let me just custom make you some sticks here. Which stick do you choose, Bunty? This one? Okay. Ruger, this is yours. Ready, Rooks? Ready? Oh, that's my things, I guess. Ready, Rooks? Bring him here, boys. Come on, bring him here. Come on, Jablooty boys. Look at you frolicking. Come on, bring it here. Good boy, bring it here, Monty. No, that's the wrong stick. There you go, bring it here. Bring it here. Monty, you can't whack. Bring it here, Monty. Ruger, you have a stick in your mouth. Ruger, bring me a stick. Bring it here, Rugs. Monty, bring it here. Bring him here. Ruger took off with the stick in his mouth. Come on. Come on, you little cutie pants with your blooties. Bloody dancers. things first. Oh, there's a piece of wood right there. Looks actually kind of like hardwood too. All right. We're going to strap on our snowshoes and we're going to walk around and just scout and look for wood and see what we can come up with. If there's any hardwoods nearby or anything like that, or if we're just going to be dealing with pine, which pine was fine. It ended up burning just fine. But I would like to test the stove with some hardwoods because so far it seems like it can definitely hold the heat longer in the tent. Burger keeps going. Anyways, all right, we're gonna strap on the snowshoes. Let's walk around. Seems to be the first dead maple I've found. We're gonna come back for this one. Okay, I, I think I can push this one over. Ooh. Let's just. All right, we're gonna come back for that one. That's a little punky. But yeah, that's like the first piece of maple. At least we're gonna have some hardwood to test out tonight. We'll come back. Here we go. Here's some more hardwood right here. This is piece number two I found. Okay, we're, we're, it's starting to look pretty good. We just discovered something. Oh, a critter den. What's in there, Rooks? What's in there? Is it a critter den? I can't see. All right, so found a good few pieces of wood. And now we're just going for a little walk. We're just gonna walk around for a couple miles here. You know, see what, this, see there, see what there is to see in the woods. And uh, we're back on 
the uh, old road that the snowmobile drove down because the boys here, um, as much fun as they have following me in the deep snow, they much prefer, Monty, come here, come here, to be able to run around like that and just kind of have a packed trail. So I figure since it's their special day, and you'll find out why later, that we'll be back on here and go for a hike. We've got our wood covered, so we just got to bring that back to camp. We can saw it up. We've got many hours of light left. And then, yeah, so we're just gonna walk around for a bit. Get crazy. Yeah, yeah, get crazy. Oh, jeez, scary. Scary doggy. So, uh, I just chanced to fart, and I thought I lost the game. I had to check. Luckily, we're all clear, but I think I'm gonna be holding them in the rest of the hike. <laughs> that was a close call. Those carbonara farts, they'll get you. You gotta watch out. <laughs> Yeah. Show his balls. Get. Get. Ow, you stinky crabs. Get him. Attack, Monty. Attack. Get him, Monty. Attack. Attack. Get him, Monty. You're vicious. You're vicious. You're a wolf. Get him. Attack. We got a little fur in your mouth. We just, it looked like there's a little trail over there. We just walked down it. There's a little lake down there. Let's go check it out, boys. That's the right spirit rooms. Oh, yeah, boys. All right, let's take that. Save that for later. Looks like a little pond. It's teeny. Should have brought some ice fishing gear. Okay, well, see you later, pond. Let's head back now, boys. Come on. Come on. Dad's got uh Dad's got some things. There's some there's a movement being made inside my body. And it starts with a B. It's a movement that starts with a B. So we need to move to make sure that movement don't turn into an emergency. You know what I'm saying, if you catch my drift, if you're picking up what I'm laying down. Okay, let's go. So, we're back. I uh, took care of my emergency, and everything's okay. We're all good, don't worry. I know you weren't worried, I, was, I wasn't worried. Not even a little Oh. Anyways, it's time for the boys to have a little more fun. We just went on about a two mile walk, hike, whatever you want to call it. And now, it's time we do some more fun for the boys here. Boys, is anyone interested in playing Find the Treats? Find the Treats? You guys interested in that? Sound fun? You want to find the treats over here? Or find the treats over here? Okay, boys. Let's play a game of find the treats. All right, everybody inside the tent while I set it up. Okay, come on. Come on, boys. Let's go. Find the treats. You know the, you know the drill. Find the treats. Get inside. They're not in here. Okay. Okay. There, boys. All right. Now I'm gonna take these treats, which are those little sausages we ate up last night. Broke them up into some pieces. I'm gonna put on my snowshoes so that they have nice packed trails, so they can wander all over. And then we will release the hounds, and they shall find the treats. They know the drill pretty well. At first, they thought it was in the tent, but then they, I just let them smell the treats, you know, when they start thinking about the treats. You guys stay there, you'd be good. Okay, let us begin the game. There. 
All right, my battery just died, but we have spread them all around. It is time to release the hounds. We just rhymed. Find the tree, find the tree, go, 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 go. Find the tree, find the tree, go, 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 go. And they're off. <laughs> you little stickers. <laughs> Both of them found one already. Oh, there, Ruger's got another one. Come on, close behind. We're in the lead. The first of the treats. Second of the treats. Come on, found another treat. Still, two come from behind. Will he capture up and we'll catch the race and win the point? He's gonna win the game. He gets the most monsters on the trail. He's got another piece down. Another tree down. Another one for rogues. There we go. Bing, bang, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Jeez! Monty's right here. Monty's right here. Just stop stepping on the tent. Please. Monty, get out of here. No. You little stinker. Jeez. They're definitely going to be exhausted. We did a nice hike today, woke up in the woods. Now we're doing find the treats outside. And the fun ain't even over. Good boys. Go find them. I still see one right there. I see. Let's see. See, I get a. I can, they can look down and see more. There's one there. They're gonna find these. They're gonna be doing this for a good half hour to 45 minutes just searching around because it's not just confined to the house or something. They've got the woods here. Yeah, so we're just gonna let them finish up here. We gotta get some firewood. We've got like three hours of light left or a little bit less, which is fine. We just gotta cut up firewood pretty much. That's all we've got to do. Whoa. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Can the camera pick that up? In that tree? Can you see that? I don't want to spook it. I swear I just saw something in there. I don't want to spook it off. Alright, we're going to creep up to it and check it out. You just got Rick rolled. All right, boys. We can play more sick when I get back. Let's go grab that firewood. Ah, bring it back to camp. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> oh, guess we don't need to saw it. We'll just drag her back to camp.
Okay, so we're gonna spend the next hour or so gathering up those pieces I found. I think I've got one, two, three more pieces of maple I found. Gather those, bring them back, saw it all up. That's what we're gonna be doing for the next hour or so. And then after that, night's creeping in. How you doing, Monty? You good boy? Watch it there, mister. Good boy. I'm so sorry, my teeth. Monty abuse. All the times I've done Monty and abused him. Just one more to the list. Monty. Okay. Alright. Oops, sorry, Monty. Okay, 
You good, Monty? Oh, I just punched you in the face, Monty. I'm so sorry. Oops, sorry, Monty. I feel so bad. There's only one way to make up for this mistake. And I, I didn't do it on purpose. I was throwing it past him and it hit the stinking branch right above Monty and just... Dang it! Just dog abuse! Alright, Monty. So now that he's, he's kinda upset at me and he's hiding in the shelter, there's only one way to make it better. Yeah, I knew he'd hear the crinkle of a beef jerky wrapper. Here you go, Mike. Here's a, here's a healthy portion of beef jerky to smooth things over. There you go, there you go. There you go, good boy. Now Ruger gets some too because he shared the mental anguish of Monty. There you go, there's some, there's some more Monty. All right, good boys. Okay, let's just forget that ever happened. I'm never gonna replay that clip ever again. Dang it. Where's your stick? Are you serious? No. I don't even believe. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Rubes. Rubes brings it back. You, mister, on the other hand, have brought it back maybe twice this entire time. And I'm sick of it. Where is it, Monty? Huh? I threw it right here. Monty, where the heck? Monty, I'm not a dog. Use your nose. Do something. Find it, Monty. Where is it? Find it. Find it. You know, Ruger, drop it. Drop it. Leave it. Come here. Come here, Rooks. Find the stick. Find the stick. If Rooks finds this before you, Monty, go find it. Find the stick.
<sighs> Heaven to Betsy. We are relaxing now. I might as well just pull off my hat. I don't get hat hair anyways. <sighs> um, yeah, nice, nice day, wouldn't you say, boys? This one was outside fetching and following me and doing all the things the whole time Mr. Monty came in and laid down, but as soon as he heard us playing stick, he came running outside, then he'd come lay down, warm up, then he'd go back outside. Ruger just, I had to force him to warm up at one point. I was like, all right, you need to just like thaw your feet for a minute, mister. Somewhere that way is definitely a snowmobile trail, and they've been driving constantly on it. I don't think I've not heard snowmobiles for like the last four hours. There's been just no breaks, so it must be just like a crazy spot or something. I don't know, but I'm not a snowmobiler, so I don't really know the trails or where they go, so just so happens that it's right. I mean, you can hear them. It's got to be... I would say that it's like two miles off, three miles off. Actually, that's probably like three miles off. But either way, I think one day I'm going to get a snowmobile. I don't know when, but I'd like one. It'd make for some interesting cabs to get one of those snowmobiles that can kind of like go off into deep powdery snow, and then I could just go further in and go to new areas, you know, places I've just never been able to go that are just too far in or something, and then build Monty a little like sled to like haul the gear and then put him in and he'll have like a little his own mini snowmobile windshield thing and a little, little comfy space <laughs> yeah we're gonna chill out for an hour or two eat some snacks uh, i'm not gonna cook dinner yet you know i usually like to wait because uh last time we went camping you start cooking dinner early and you eat early and then you're not tired and you just sit for two hours i'd rather sit gather my hunger, eat a few snacks, just kind of, you know, and then like eat food and then pass out. That's, that's just the way I like to do it. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna eat some snacks here. I've got, uh, they're a little frozen right now, but we've got some sardine, sardines served in Louisiana hot sauce. <laughs> mm, ooh, they're almost about ready. Gotta be careful with these because these are potent if you spill. But, uh, I used to love these as a kid. They were the kipper snacks. Louisiana hot sauce, but we just I can't find them anymore. This is like a beach cliff. I don't know I used to love those but Yeah, I also like the mustard ones. It's an acquired taste, but they're they're delicious Anywho We're gonna snack we're gonna chill Once uh once a uh, one of these thaws out I might crack one open But they feel like they're gonna frost up as soon as I open them So because I had everything near the door and it just gets frozen over there so anywho, I'll check back in with you guys when uh, we've had a minute to just relax. Maybe even take a nap. Who knows? These guys are going to nap. Then they'll be ready for more fun. Right? Because there's still some coming. All right. All right. Okay, well, we've been relaxing, we've been chilling, we've been having a good time. Um, boys, what do you say we let everyone know what this day's been about and what it's been building up to? You guys ready to be cued in? So we need to do a little something to make it happen. It's Monty and Ruger's Winter Camping Birthday Bash. Hey boys, are you excited? We're gonna have a birthday party. <laughs> All right, well, before we can get into any of the festivities, we gotta have a little fun. I'm fully accepting that it may turn chaotic in a moment. We'll see what happens.
You're back. Oh, you're stuck on your... Get him, Rooks. Get him, Rooks. Get him, Rooks. Get him. Get him, Auntie. Get him, Rooks. sure was some fun wouldn't you say boys before we can continue any more of the birthday festivities or anything we've got to switch hats for a minute and uh, get some other things done <laughs> that's right we've all got our chef hats on well only me now but we got to cook some deliciousness if we're gonna have a real birthday party so for the boys we're gonna make a magnificent Fillet Mignon cake with some peanut butter frosting topped with some, um, how do they say, freshly cooked bacon crisp and beef jerky sprinkles. Yes, that's what they're getting. Plus, they're going to have a little kibble, maybe with a little boiled sweet potato. That's the boys' plate. For me, I'm going to, for the first time, ever make a New England clam chowder from scratch. I've only ever had the canned stuff. And I've always wanted to make a fresh one, and that's what I'm having tonight. Let's get to cooking and preparing some stuff. And then we'll continue on with the birthday festivities. What do you say, boys? Yeah! Alright, we've got some stuff to prepare. Yes, we do. Oh, first and foremost, we've got some bacon. How much bacon? Too much bacon. But that's okay, because bacon is great. This, If you guys haven't noticed by now... Every meal I've cooked has been bacon. We're embracing the bacon this trip. We're becoming one with the bacon. The bacon is wise, the bacon is kind. The bacon does amazing things to your behind. All right, we're gonna add this to the pan. There's a lot of schmutz in there. That's totally acceptable. That's what you want, you know, when you're outdoor cooking. All right, we're gonna get this crisping up over the heat. Okay, first things first, we've got some garlic. We're going to make it extra garlicky. All right, we're going to add all this to the pot. Next up on the list, we've got some celery. A couple sticks of celery here. I don't know if you can hear him, but Monty is like, he's doing his groan thing again, where he just groans, he's like, huh, huh. I'm gonna add all that delicious celery to the pot. And then of course, we've got some onion. A little white onion. got for the first time ever on the channel peeled potatoes that's right I peeled these at home and uh, oh see it's a little it's a little oh it's just brown on the outside so it's not a big deal it just looks a little weird but it's totally fine everyone just calm down oh yeah we're gonna cube these up these aren't going in yet Okay, now we've got everything we need prepared. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. The boys gotta get their sweet potato.
it's time to get our onion, celery, garlic. And what we're gonna do is, since we're all about the bacon this trip, is we're gonna saute all this up in some bacon grease. Just a little healthy part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Little. Okay. There we go. That's the right proper start to a good soup. Bacon grease. this up for another minute we're almost ready to start adding all the goodies bacon we're just looking to get crispy 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 bacon all right now we're gonna add the rest of the goodies to our celery garlic onions and whatnot we're gonna add some water good all right then I'm gonna add some chicken base which is kind of like chicken bouillon I add a little bit of water to make it liquid but you got to keep this stuff refrigerated it's a little more I just like the flavor better oh, oh, oh God. there you go now it's out our potatoes Now we're going to add an entire bottle of clam juice. It's a little frozen still. I think the bottle was like 8 ounces? That uh, was a whole bottle. Clam juice. Never used it before. What else this place got? And we're going to add in a bay leaf. Get that bay leaf in there. Then we're going to add in some white pepper. And then we're going to add in some thyme. We're going to go a little more pepper and thyme. I like, I like spices. Okay, I think now we're just going to bring this up to a boil and get this simmer in. Now we're just going to simmer this until our potatoes are cooked. I'm going to take a cup of half and half. Let's see. I'm going to take a cup. Okay. And then I've got a third cup of flour. I'm going to add into that. Put that on there and keep that sealed and mix that real good and that's going to go off to the side for a little bit later all right and in the pan that had the bacon grease we're going to add the boys fillet mignon okay now to our clam chowder, we're gonna take that little mixture we just made of the half and half and the flour, and we're gonna stir that in. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is starting to look like some clam chowder already. Oh yeah. 
going to bring this up and we're going to get this simmering again. Bring it up to heat. Oh my gosh, that is that is looking pretty good. Where is it? A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of black pepper. There we go. All right, the boys. Fill it mignon here. Ooh. Put that off the side. I am so excited to eat that. Okay, now we are gonna add two cans of chopped clams with the juice. It's going in. I'm definitely not gonna be able to eat all this in one sitting tonight. That is a lot more than I thought it would be now that I'm looking at it, that is like, way too much. Should have probably cut this one in half, but hey, I'm going to get it tomorrow. Okay. And then last but not least, we're going to add in another cup of half and half. And then we're just going to get it hot. All right, the boys is done. That looks like some clam chowder right there. We just need to get it hot. Oh, I'm so excited to eat that. It's time for the boys' delicious birthday feast to be prepared. So on top of the little bit of kibble, we're gonna have some sweet potato mash. So we're gonna just cut it right down the center. Oh, look at all. See, now that's, that's rare. That's what the boys want. This might be a little, a little much for our boys here, but so be it. And you know, it's always recommended to cut a knife into uh, a metal pan. This is a dangerous game I'm doing. Oh no, I don't know if this is a good idea. All right, peanut butter's got a strong smell, so we're just gonna, we're gonna put half of that there, half of that there. Think of this more as a cake bowl than a cake, okay? All right, we got a little bit of peanut butter frosting Then we're gonna go with a couple, just two little pieces of bacon. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I'm, I'm going to regret this. Have you ever questioned choices you're making while you're making them? That's what I'm doing right now. And then just a little bit of beef jerky sprinkles. Little bit. We're getting a little too crazy here. Of course, they're little joint supplement treats. And Ruger's little bowl. And Monty's little bowl. All right, boys. I fell over. Make a wish, boys. Wait, 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 Rugs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your nose. Make a wish. 
What's your wish? Well, don't tell me. But I'm assuming it's Monty's is just like, don't ever make me do this crap again, but let me eat that, please. <sighs> okay. You're the bestest birthday, boys. You're five years old and you're six. Go ahead, boys. Good boys. <laughs> they are such good boys. Uh, you probably can't even see them. I got my hat on. I just, you know, we got to have the birthday boys in frame. Happy birthday, boys. Monty's officially a dog, dog, like, dog. <laughs> oh, we'll eat in just a sec. Because I'm going to let them finish. It's been rather chaotic this evening. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's time to finalize my, my here dish. Okay, boys? It's Dad's turn. The boys had their birthday party. All right, Monty, come back here. Over here, Monty. Monty. Oh. All right, Monty. Let me... Rugus, what's this? <laughs> With their dopey little hats on. Oh. And there's, I don't think it's possible I can eat all this, but we'll try. So what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of this bacon. <laughs> just a little bit of the bacon on top of the soup. Just a little bit of bacon. We're going to mix a little bit of that in. <laughs> there we go. Oyster crackers. We're not going to add a ton because I don't want to mix them in. And then they go soggy, so we'll just leave them on top. Our crispity crunchity baguette. Ooh. And then last but not least, the spoon of approval. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some homemade clam chowder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's eat. I can't believe it. I, I let the date be known. I forgot to add not too much, not too little, but no salt. We are just going to correct that right now. <laughs> I can't believe it. I forgot salt. What the heck? I'm losing my touch, boys. I'm going to be honest, boys. Got a little bit of heartburn. These are some very chalky treats called Tums. Mmm. 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 Exactly what you want for a delicious dinner. Oh. Growing like Monty now. I can't believe I almost forgot. Salt. Okay, let's try this. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I don't know what I was thinking about even questioning the <laughs> oyster crackers. They're so good. Mm. All right, mister. Back it up. Back it up. All right, lay it down. Burger. Go lay down. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come here, Rooks. Over here. Monty, you guys are just... 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 All right, Monty. Give me that booty. Give me that booty. All right, lay down, Rooks. Lay down. This is just... This is their water. Okay. You chaotic little beings. 
Oh. They're just not satisfied. I don't know if the bread was a good idea. I should have just done oyster crackers. Mm. No. Mm. Bad, bad idea. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's definitely the best clam shot I've ever had. I mean, I guess that's not saying much since I've only ever had clam or canned clam chowder. But it is by far bounds and leaps in front of anything else I've ever had. Mmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just sink down there so you can see me. It's been a long festive, festive evening. Let's just say clam chowder at one because it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty late. Um, I'm going to just eat as much as I can of this. My energy is slowly fading. And then we're going to get ready for bed. So, uh... I will check back in with you guys when it is bedtime. And now I'm not gonna slouch. We're just gonna, we're just gonna. It's give a scratch to Monty time. Good boy. There's your scratch, Monty. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. oh, my gosh. I forget how enjoyable it is down here versus standing up. I've just been standing up and dying from the heat. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And then you lay back down and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's a completely different world down here. Like, the dogs are comfortable. I mean, if they were having to deal with what I was just doing, they would be panting and uncomfortable, but they are just in a state. Anyways, I am so exhausted, I can't even think right now. I I'll catch you and see ya. Okay, whoa, 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 Roots, come here. Settle. Settle. Monty. Monty. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so squirrely. Oh my gosh, you're a wrangle of wild Roots. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Hey, Monty. Gosh. All right. All right. Come here. Come. All right. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Rugus, you're making me nervous. You don't want to pop any pants. Oh my gosh. Why are you scratching the pants? Everyone, stop this 
madness. Ah, oh, Monty. Don't pull those, those. Those logs are keeping the stove propped up. You Rugus. Hey. Come here, lay down. Come here, come here. Come here. All right, lay down. Lay down. I'll pet you. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, why don't you lay down? Okay. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. This is craziness. You silly doggies. Oh, jeez, rubes. Oh, he's gonna pop the pad. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Well, it's time to head home today. So, we gotta pack some stuff up. We're not making any breakfast. I still got my pizza. I'm so sleepy, I could sleep for hours. But it's okay. <sighs> Alright, first things first, I'm gonna wake up, pack up some of the stuff inside the tent. <laughs> and then we're gonna get up, get out to the outside world. So, let's get up. Let's do it. Hi. Hi, bunnies. Hi, come here. Hi. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Let me say hi first. We'll play. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi, Monty. Come here. Monty, come here. Hi. Come here, Rooks. Come here. Put that stick down. Come here, say hi. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let me just... Snowmobiles are in it again. Go ahead, get a roofs. Get a roofs. Go get a roofs. Hunty. Bring here, roofs. Bring here, roofs. Come here. All right, boys. Ready, roofs? Get a roofs. Get a roofs. Roofs, you gotta go for the other stick. All right, Rugs, you gotta go for the stick that I throw off into the woods because Monty will only barely find the one on the path. Ready, Rooks? Ready, Rooks? Get it, Rooks. All right, Monty, ready? This one's for you. Okay, well, it is time to officially carry out camp. I'm about 75% of the way packed up because let me tell you, it was a mess in there. When it was late last night and I was just had all that stuff, I just kind of shoveled it to a corner, kind of like I do at home. Anyways, enough about that. Yeah, I just made a mess, and I just had to clean up my mess. So, let's pack up. Most challenging part, seeing if we can get these stakes out semi easily. Oh, 
fun. See, I learned the hard way when I did a week in the mountains with Jake Ski Guy and Giggle Dan, and uh, it was negative like 10 or 15 Fahrenheit the first morning, and I just pulled on the tent fabric, not the, the black loop that these spikes are in, and it just ripped, and it almost ripped it off. So now I just know you gotta grab it by the, you can't grab it by the tent material and just pull, especially when they're frozen, or you're just gonna rip them off. That was a lesson I learned real quick. Yeah. Here it is. Give it to you. Monty, go get, go get your stick, I just threw it, it's right there, it's in the middle of the path, no, go get it, it's in the middle of the path, I can see it, no, you go get it, I'm not getting it, I'm sick of it, I can see it in the middle of the path, yeah, I know you know exactly where it is, that's the, I can see the other stick, Monty, that is the wrong, that is a stick from earlier, why? You think this is a sick game, don't you? He, do, he does this on purpose, I swear. You think this is a sick game, don't you? You think this is a sick game. Remember, I know you're gonna get it no matter where. Go right, get it, Ruth. Oops. Hi, right, Monty, you <coughs> turd. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I guess I can give you guys my opinion on the new hot stove. The new stove for the hot tent, however which way you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty awesome, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think it, I'm going to have to check on a scale, which I don't have yet. I've been meaning to get one. But, um, I think it's lighter than my original stove. It, uh, it kept the heat longer. Um, when it's controlled properly, it didn't get too hot. Like, it was obviously getting too hot. But when I figured it out and just kind of like, you just got to open the door if it's a little too hot. But it seemed to keep the wood pretty long. Um, I was only putting in two pieces of this maple every hour 45 up to two hours and there were still just hot coals in there it wasn't like i feel like the other stove at that time there was like just a few coals and the other thing is it's awesome that it's bigger and you can just shove logs and so i don't know if i'm going to be using my other little stove that much more i'll probably use this one but i've also got one more stove to check out so the only reasons i would take my original stove is if space was an issue if space is not an issue, this bigger one or the other bigger one, those are great. I'll go with whatever weighs less and does the best job. But if, you know, for some reason, like my sled, I just have it loaded and I just need the space, I'll go with the smaller one. Now, the other stove I got, I think is a little bit heavier, but it's, it's big like this one and it's long. I think it's longer than this one, so you can put longer pieces of wood, which is nice for cutting. So if you want to cut less, you just, you know, leave the pieces longer, which... Again, is another nice thing. So we'll have to see on that one. But the other thing is I've only got two hot tents right now. I originally bought the nine by nine. Now I've got a 10 by 10. I think I'm gonna need to match my stoves to my hot tents and get a, get a probably a 12 by 12. So that I have three stoves, three tents. Life is great. You know, the 12 by 12 I'm not gonna bring out with it's just me and the dog. This, this tent is perfect for that. Um, if I'm like, well, I guess I shouldn't give you any spoilers, but maybe next week there's a 90% chance that me and Captain Teeny Trotter are going out with the two boys here and doing three nights in the hot tent while ice fishing. That'd be nice for a 12 by 12. But I didn't say anything about that. Ignore that I said that. Uh, yeah, so I might need another tent. It's not going to be this year, though. I also want to get an 18 by 20 tent, but that's, that's another story for another time. That's, that's in the future a year or two from now, at least. Hey, would you bark at me, mister? Little oh, Rugus Tugus, Buffa Dugus. Oh, jeez. It's 
not it's not fitting together as well as it did on the way in. I told you it'd work. Perfect. Fits like a glove. Monty is a stinky and Marukas is stinky too too. He's a stinky bop bop bop. He won't stop grabbing the stick. Ooh hoo. Monty t t t and Roo, would you just leave the stick? I'm getting kind of sick of throwing all the sticks. Just kidding. It was a joke, Rooks. It was a hilarious joke. Haha. -ha. It was super hilarious. Weren't you laughing about how I was joking about how I was getting sick of throwing the stick? I'm not sick of it, I swear. Never. Never lose. I never get sick of throwing stick. Let me see that real quick, Ruse. Right here. Let me see that. For any micro trash. I did a pretty good job. That's why it took so long yesterday. Cleaning up all the little pieces of our little festivities yesterday. Oh, there's one T piece. They're real easy to pick out because they're so colorful. On the white and brown. amount of layers on so I can still sweat. Alright boys. Alright. We are ready for travel. So, since you're pressing me, officially it was Monty's birthday yesterday. But don't take it away from him. Okay? Or Ruge's. Don't take it away from Ruge's. It was just as much Ruge's birthday. His is later on. Maybe we'll have a double party then too. Because we did maybe not have parties for him last year. That's why we did so big. But it's, just think of this as both their birthdays. It's close enough. Five, six. They're the goodest boys. But uh, we had lots of fun. It got a little chaotic yesterday, but we ate some delicious food. Tried some new recipes that I'm just... Definitely winners. Definitely going to be eating those more often in the future. I like keep trying new stuff out here, and I'm glad it works out. Uh, we got a little snow yesterday, just a light little inch or two, just a little covering. We stayed hot, tried the new stove, had fun hiking around, throwing lots of stick for the boys here. And uh, yeah, just had a grand old time. So uh, it's time to head back to the car, go for a drive, and get home. So as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on boys, let's go.
I mean, I, I get what you guys are feeling. Okay. It, it seems weird. But honestly, this is how people make their living nowadays. So, I mean, have I ever steered you wrong before? 